Hey guys, here's my second video from Fiji. I'm still up in the Yogan Pilates Shala here at Dhaka Resort. I've had a wonderful day um, snorkeling, kayaking, having lunch at John Michelle Cousteau Resort. I'll definitely be returning next year to lead a retreat here, so it's just amazing. You can probably see the view a little bit behind me. It's the ocean right there. It's just um, fantastic. So in the afternoon you get the sun right down here. Um, just down the road um, you can go into the water that's where I started my 10k ocean swim now over the last six months you might know already I had a broken foot and um, I couldn't do my triathlon my Ironman in Norway instead I signed up for a 10k ocean swim decided to do my own ocean swim here in Sabu Sabu when I got here for some yoga teacher training um, which was absolutely wonderful it was organized by the guys who run this um, resort here Delia and JJ um, and it was just the most amazing 10 kilometer swim you could ever do, I think. Now, it was my first one, so I can't really compare it to anything else. But it was just right over the reef, um, so calm, so quiet. The water here feels really as if it's healing. It's got this, this amazing softness. Um, you're really buoyant. It was a gorgeous day, a little bit overcast at times, so I didn't get too burned. A fair bit of a burn, but not too much. Um, but it was the visibility was really good. So and there was so many fish I remember seeing this little puffer fish digging itself into the sand Anyway, I've been swimming like a fish. I've been training swimming, but I haven't been running a whole lot I just got back into it. So I've put on a little bit of weight so I'm a bit top-heavy um, A little bit flabbier than normal which happens when you um, change your regime, right? So um, It's nothing that I kind of rue or, or am upset about it's just I'm starting to tone up again and you might just be at that spot as well where you're feeling as if you need a little bit of a workout, perhaps it's just coming into summer where you are, perhaps um, it's coming into winter, whatever your reason is, if you're wanting to lose baby weight, if you want to just get a little bit fitter, tone up that core or get better core strength in general for your other exercises, I'm going to show you a few exercises that would get you back to really nice core strength pretty quickly. So. Just bear with me, it's going to be about 10 minutes of exercises only, and they're the ones that I'm going to do today, the only ones that I'm going to do today. The other stuff I was doing was cardio. Okay, all right. So I'm going to lie down onto my back to start with. I love starting with my hip rolls, just to mobilize the spine before I go anywhere, to open up those hip flexors, and to become a little bit more aware of what my body is doing today. Inhale through the nose. On the exhale, slowly roll off the mat, feeling the spine. Deep breath in at the top, and exhale, roll back down. You can do that as many times as you want. I'm just going to do three. I did a few already. Normally that really helps me notice where the tension is. There's tension through the lower back, mid bar. Right now, after my previous exercises, I actually feel really okay. Rolling up, and back down. Just going to make sure that you're still with me. Cool, okay. Now we're going to start by putting the hands behind the head. Shoulders away from the ears. My lower back's in neutral. Tiny little dip in the lower back. If you're unsure about your neutral, have a look at my beginner's videos. Um, I talk about it a lot in there. We're going to do a really nice little ab warm up. On the exhale, you're going to lift the head and shoulders off, just bringing the shoulder beds to hover off. Now have a look at my core. It's really flat. I haven't come up to where it feels as if it's bulging and puffing up. I've come to where it feels as if it's cinching in. That's where I'm going to stay and move. I'm going to lift one leg up. I'm going to do tiny little pulses. I'm just going to do 10 pulses here to keep it really easy in the choreography. Now by lifting one leg up, I'm going to trigger a little bit <clears throat> through my obliques, so making a bit of a unilateral movement. Two, one, and I'm going to lower it back down. I lower it down in between so that I don't create too much tension through the neck and shoulders. Again, making sure I'm just drawing my ribs to my hips. I'm not coming up to where it's bulging. My shoulder blades are just off the floor. You've got three, two, one, and back down. Let's do that with both feet. Exhale up, both feet lift up, go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower it back down. Knees come in, quick little rock. If you want to, you can roll all the way for rolling like a ball. Perhaps even just stretching it out as you come forwards and back, giving the legs a little bit of a stretch. Working your core a little bit. If you're finding this easy, you can bring the arms out to the sides. So up, forwards. <laughs> I love this. Okay, we're going to come to the front. 
shuffling back a little. So in view, we're going to draw ourselves up, bringing the hands onto the knees, nice and upright spine. Shoulders relaxed, bring the hands in front. We're starting with the variation of the half roll back. Roll back. On the exhale, draw the um, tailbone under, draw the pit of the belly in, roll back to where you can without the feet coming up or the core bulging. Inhale, stay. Exhale, pause. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Here we're mobilizing the spine. We're keeping that feeling of length through the spine. So even as we're tilting it back, we keep the core drawing in, drawing it long through here. And pause. Inhale up. We're just doing one more. Exhale, flow back. <laughs> nice and easy. Shouldn't be too hard. Exhale, forwards. Inhale up. We're going to mobilize the arms now. Keep the shoulders nice and steady. Exhale back. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, circle. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, circle. Now you want to keep the body still, shoulders away from the ears. We're going to reverse it. Now if this feels hard, or if your core is shaking, you need to come up a little bit higher. It doesn't matter. How far are you going? Let's do one more. Hold, inhale, sink a little bit deeper. And exhale, up and over. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, back. We're adding on if you want to. Lift one leg up, other leg up. Circles, inhale up. Exhale, circle. Inhale up. Exhale, circle. One more. Keeping the pit of the belly drawing in. Other way, inhale. Exhale, up and over. Inhale. Exhale, up and over. One more. Hold, dip it. I'm going to do 10 door dips here. Just really drawing the navel in, scooping it back for four, five, all the way to 10, six, seven, and you've got three more, two more, one more, and curve it all the way up and over. Come to a little butterfly pose here from yoga. Drawing the legs as close to you as you can without creating too much tension, coming just on top of your sit bones. I can't go too far. You might be able to get the legs all the way down. Curve it up and over. Just stretching out through the inner thighs. Sometimes we create a bit of tension through our Pilates exercises here. So it's quite nice to give it a bit of a stretch in between. Let the shoulders relax. I just did this. So keep it really nice and tension-free where you can. 